How can the MyLife Loop with the MyLife Ipsopump improve the quality of life with diabetes in general? I think it helps to reduce the time spending outside time of range. Um, it helps to stay in range um, without too many thoughts in your head. Uh, in my case, I love it and I'm using it for five or four months now. So you've been on holiday a bit further away where you also had to switch time zones. And can you tell us a bit more about how the holiday with the My Life Loop went? How well did it adapt to the time zone changes and how were your first days going? I went from Germany to Dubai to Australia, Sydney, which means three time zones. And uh, the cell phone changed itself and so did the My Life Loop also. Uh, the first days I had a little bit ups and downs concerning food and concerning uh, eating times uh, because my whole body <laughs> was in a little bit of jet lag. But the basil and the algorithm did a great job and I was lucky with the results. Our My Life Loop is an app that works on your own smartphone. What would you say to people who are maybe a bit afraid of all the technic stuff or think that they are not so digital affine and don't know how to use this. How hard was it to start the algorithm on your phone? It is very easy. Um, in my case, I needed one hour. I go to the Play Store, download the app, and then I check my parameters and uh, give it to the phone uh, and to the algorithm. And then there comes the hard job. You have to switch from left to right to start to the outer mode. And the algorithm begins to work and to learn and that's it. Thank you. Sounds easy. It is. <laughs> Would you say your daily time spent managing diabetes has decreased since using Loop and if so, in which situations? I'd say yes. There are a few decisions I have to make. That's my job. That's living with diabetes, right? But um, you can lean yourself back in situations which means driving a car or doing sports or sleeping um, because the algorithm does a little bit of your job, which means looking after your basal or correct higher levels or what else. You've been living with diabetes for quite a few years now and I think you were also used to checking your blood sugar very often and managing everything yourself. So how was the transition to loop like? Mm -hmm. Like you had to rely on the system. Mm -hmm. In the beginning it was hard because I had to learn to wait uh, till the algorithm does its job. And I was a little bit addicted to check my glucose levels, which is fine by now, both of them, it's fine now. Um, and I'm quite relaxed. So you have been using a DIY system for quite some time now. What were the reasons to change to an official system? Do it yourself is very, very hard and you have to spend a lot of time on your own. You have no customer service, you have no insurance to pay and I wanted it to change. So I decided to give it a try and right now I'm enjoying the Cam APS and Ipsopump loop. You do quite a lot of sports. How well did the algorithm adapt to these situations? Mm, it adapted very well. Um, I do different kind of sports. I do dancing, I do road cycling and sometimes body weight training or hiking or walking or, or what else. So you see a lot of different things to, for the algorithm to work. And before I start with sport, I'm using the ease off mode that increases my BG levels a little bit. So I won't go low during the workout. After that, I'm checking my glucose. Um, if I need more insulin, most of the time I'm trusting the algorithm. Um, and that works well. There was a situation which surprises me a lot. Uh, after two weeks, I went road cycling the first time and um, I am used to have smaller problems with my do-it-yourself loop. So I was um, surprised how well the loop was working with CAM RPS because there was no high, there was no low, it was just a flat line. <laughs>